Live Trace. Okay, so in Photoshop here, I'm going to open a new document, 8.5 by 11 by 300 dots per inch. Then I'm also going to open up a new document that's 8.5 by 11 by 72 dots per inch. Untitled 2 is 72, Untitled 1 is 300. What I'm going to do here is take a nice soft brush, draw a nice whimsical line here, and we'll do that by going to brush and make sure shape dynamics is on. Okay, and then I'm also going to make a line using a hard edge brush. You can see it's pretty hard to draw a line at 300 dots per inch. Okay, now I'm going to go to the 72 dots per inch and do this very same thing. And then one with the soft edge brush. Again, Turn on shape dynamics for the soft tailed. You can see here that it's much easier to draw a line at 72 dots per inch than it is at 300 dots per inch. Reason being is the system speed is a lot faster. Another advantage of this is I can blend colors a little bit better at 72 dots per inch. Take for example, if I had red with a hard edge brush next to green, and I take my smudge tool and turn on scattering. For scattering, I like to turn on pen pressure. I could easily blend these two colors together. That's something that I cannot do very easy at 72 or 300 dots per inch. So here's a 300 dots per inch document. Here's a line, here's a line, then I'm going to go in here with the smudge tool and try to blend these. You can see it's very slow and it moves back and forth and it, it's so awkward. There we go. So you can see very hard to blend those two colors, but here very easy to blend those two colors in because of the fact that it's low DPI. Okay, so let's go into Live Trace and find out what the difference is between the two documents. I'm going to save this one as 300 as a Photoshop document. And I'm going to save this one as a 72. Then we're going to cruise over to Illustrator and open the both of them up. Okay, so for the 300 dots per inch, what I'm going to do is just do a live trace. I do this by going to the black arrow and clicking over the top of it. This will turn all raster pixels to vector. There is a difference between the two documents, however. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at the lines here. Um, you can see these jaggedy edges appearing right here. And you can see this wave pattern that's showing up on my uh, 300 dots per inch one. Okay, let's go to this one and do a live trace on it. This is the 72. Let's look at the lines. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. The moral of the story here is if you're going to do a live trace on a document, it's not important to have such a large DPI. In fact, lower DPI equals a, a nice line weight on all your lines and less jaggedy edges. Okay. And as far as colors go, if you go up here at the top and choose maybe six colors, You can see I have something like this. But six colors here actually stems true. Just such a big difference between the 72 dots per inch and the 300 dots per inch document. So keep that in mind whenever you go to Live Trace. All right, enjoy and have a good one.